Glass is the double sequel to both Unbreakable and Split. Um, Unbreakable, made in 2000 by M. Night Shyamalan, starring Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. It was an understated superhero film. came out the same year as X-Men, and it was from a time when the superhero genre, you know, it, it didn't really exist, you know. X-Men was, like, one of the first films that came out of that. Unbreakable the same year, but that was more like a grounded this is how superheroes would be in real life. Um, and it had a really understated performance by Bruce Willis, a really great one. Um, Samuel Jackson was brilliant as Elijah Price. Um, Bruce Willis playing David Dunn. And then we go to 2016 and Split came out, starring James McAvoy, um, a character with, I think, 24 different personalities, different, um, you know, each one having different skills and thing and one of them being a super powerful super villain um called the beast and then unbeknown to everyone when he got to the end of the film there was like the m night Shyamalan type twist where you learned that it was in the same universe as unbreakable um because the scene had david dunn in it um so then two years later or is it three years i can't I exactly remember when split came out i don't know if it was 2016 or um 2017 but anyway um two or three years later glass is out it's the sequel that it's a sequel to unbreakable that no one ever thought we'd get you know though split was that but you didn't realize it at the time when you were watching it but um yeah um where do i where do i begin with glass um it's an interesting film i did enjoy it i did enjoy two thirds of the film anyway it was the final act that I can't quite place, you know, my feelings on the final act. Um, I did like the film, mostly. You know, I, I enjoyed the performances of um, Samuel L. Jackson as Mr. Glass and James McAvoy as Kevin Wendell Crumb, the Beast, um, Patricia, Dennis, all these characters. Um... I was slightly disappointed with how they handled Bruce Willis's David Dunn character because that was a character that I most wanted to see. I wanted to see where he was, you know, 20 years later, 19 years later, after Unbreakable. Um, and you do get a glimpse of that at the, the start, and it is interesting, um, showing how him, how um, David Dunn and his son work together. Um, he's now got a super heroic name. He's been a vigilante for like 19 years. Um, and he's got like a superhero name now, which is like the Overseer. Um, and he's tracking down the Beast, um, James McAvoy's character, because he's kidnapped some more girls. Um, and then the film, it, it, it goes the way I thought it was going to. You know, it's showing um, David Dunn doing his, you know, detective work, um using his superpowers, and then there's an, a, a pretty cool showdown between both characters. Um, and then the police show up and a psychiatrist, and then they all get thrown into a psychiatric ward. Um, the same one that Elijah Price, Mr. Glass, Samuel Jackson's character, is in. And then it's in there for, you know, most of the film. And when I was watching it, I was thinking, well, you know, this isn't the direction I wanted the film to go. This is not what I wanted to see. But at the same time, when I was watching it, I was fascinated, you know, all the things they were talking about, you know, the human psyche, the psychiatrist was trying to, um, you know, persuade the three stars of the film that their superpowers were all in their head, basically. Um, so it was interesting, you know, it's hard to talk about this film without going into the spoilers. So I think I might have to do a spoiler video for this, you know, to, so I can really talk about it. But all in all, I enjoyed the film. The final act, I don't know where my feelings lie yet. You know, I think I do need to see the film again, but this moment in time, it's it was good, but it was something I didn't want to see and I wanted to see something else and I didn't like the way it ended and things like that. But And I thought Bruce Willis's um, character was underused. It was, you know, 
you saw him mostly missed out, but once it gets to the asylum, it turns into the um, Samuel L. Jackson and James McAvoy show, and Bruce Willis is kind of like sidelined from then on. But I'm going to go in more into that in my um, spoiler talk video that I'm going to do for this, because it's hard not to do one for this film. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it mostly, and I'm going to give it a rating of B. Yeah, um, I enjoyed seeing this sequel to Unbreakable, the, you know, after 19 years. It was good to see where the characters were at. Um, and I'll leave it there. You know, I'll go more into it in the spoiler video. So, let me know down below, guys, what did you think of Glass? Um, what did you think, basically? Did you like the way the story went? Um, what was your favourite part? Who was your favourite character? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Like and share my channel. And remember, stay heroic.